we are going to download the files and putting them on a place where you can remember, for instance on your desk desktop. Next up, we are going to extract the files. And in the folder, the top one we are going to use later, the bottom one is a library. So therefore we are going to open up Arduino. Open sketch, include library, add zip library and choose the library we just found on your desktop. There it is. Of course I have already downloaded the library, but now you should also be set up to load the first sketch. Go to File, Examples, scroll a bit down until you see PCM and push Playback. This long array, that is the actual audio file. But we don't want to play this, we want to play our own audio file. So, let's find your audio file and open up Audacity. Here we are going to prep the audio file. In my case I'm using a WAF, which sounds a bit like this, but you can use whatever file you want. Set the project rate to 8000 and set the format to 16-bit PCM. Now, it sounds a little bit more shitty, but it does work. Now it's time to export the file, so you can just put it on your desktop or wherever you can remember. Next up, we are going to convert the mp3 file we just made to a file Arduino can understand. Therefore we are going to need encodeaudio.exe, choose the file we just made, and automatically the code gets copied. Go to your Arduino code and replace it with the original string. Now it's time to plug in your Arduino, look if all your settings are alright, and then just upload it. Now plug in your speaker, one side into ground, one side in digital pin 11. And push the reset button. If the sound is not loud enough for you, you can also try to amplify the sound using a transistor. I use the BC337 for this, but other resistors are also possible. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial and see you next time.